Hello everyone, welcome to Explore Physics. We are going to discuss about the very interesting and vital topic electricity. Electricity is a form of energy which has occupied the most dominant place in our modern society. It is used for lighting purposes, communication, heating, cooling purposes and also to run vehicles such as trains, cars, scooters and to power machines and devices. Well now, just imagine a day without electricity. Everything seems to be dark and disgusting. Since we have learned to make use of electricity in all walks of our lives to fulfill all our requirements and comforts. Then arises a question that how have we become so dependent on electricity rather than other forms of energies? It's all because of its various advantages. Electricity is a clean form of energy. It is easily transportable over longer distances. Electricity can easily be converted to other forms of energies such as radio waves, microwaves, mechanical energy, heat, light, etc. It is fast just as the speed of light. This increases our curiosity to know about the production of electricity. Electricity is produced in hydropower plants where the flow of water is used to rotate the turbines to produce electricity. In thermal power plants where the heat produced by the heating of coal is used to produce steam which turns the turbines to produce electricity. In nuclear power plants where the heat produced by the nuclear fission reaction is used to produce steam to rotate the turbines to generate electricity. In windmills where the blow of wind at a greater speed is utilized to rotate the turbines to produce electricity. In geothermal power plants, the heat beneath the earth heats up the underground water to produce steam and the hot steam from underground is piped directly into turbines to generate electricity. Electricity can also be produced from solar energy using solar panels. Now we are going to discuss about the effects of electricity. Firstly, heating effect. In heating effect, electrical energy is converted to heat energy. Example, heating of electric iron, electric bulb, heaters, geysers, etc. In magnetic effect, electrical energy is converted into magnetic energy. Example, electromagnet used in electric bell, microphone, telephone instruments, loudspeakers, etc. In chemical effect, electrical energy is converted to chemical energy. Example, electroplating used in polishing of artificial jewelry, protecting iron utensils from rusting, purification of metals, electrolysis of water, etc. In mechanical effect, Electrical energy is converted to mechanical energy, example electric motor used in fans, vacuum cleaner, washing machines, mixers, grinders, etc. In lightning effect, electrical energy caused by the accumulation of static charges which is then converted to light and sound energy, example lightning and thunder. Before heading deeper into the concept of electricity, we ought to know about the structure of an atom. All matter such as solid, liquid, gas and plasma is composed of tiny particles called atoms. An atom consists of subatomic particles called protons, neutrons and electrons. The protons and the neutrons are held by the nuclear force at the center of the atom called the nucleus. And the electrons keep revolving around the nucleus in different electron shells or orbits. Protons are positively charged and the neutrons are neutral. That is, they do not have any charge as such. And the electrons are negatively charged. An atom is neutral by nature as they have equal number of protons and electrons. Charge is a property of matter just like mass, volume or density. 
positively charged atom is called positive ion and negatively charged atom is called negative ion. Like charges repel each other and unlike charges attract each other. That is, both positive and positive charges or negative and negative charges repel each other. That is, they move away from each other. Whereas, the opposite charges, positive and negative, attract each other. That is, they come closer to each other. All matter, as they are made of neutral atoms, are neutral by nature. If two neutral objects come in constant contact, there will be exchange of charges. Hence an object which gains electrons becomes negatively charged and an object which loses electrons becomes positively charged. Let's take an example of a dry cloth and a polythene rod rubbed against each other. The polythene rod gaining electrons becomes negatively charged and the cloth losing electrons becomes positively charged. Similarly, let's take another instance of comb and hair. Initially, hair and comb are neutral. That is, they have equal number of positive and negative charges. And by combing the hair with the comb, transfer of charges takes place. Thus, hair gaining electrons becomes negatively charged and the comb losing electrons becomes positively charged. For better understanding, we are going to consider the Bohr's model of an atom. The maximum number of electrons in different orbits keep revolving around the nucleus. The electrons in the outermost orbit are called valence electrons. In certain substances, the valence electrons are loosely bound and hence they move freely from one atom to another. These free electrons are responsible for the flow of electricity. Such substances are called conductors. Example, metals, graphite, human body, etc. In certain substances, the valence electrons are firmly bound by the electrostatic force between the positively charged protons in the nucleus and the negatively charged electrons. Hence, do not have free electrons. Such substances are called insulators. Example, rubber, paper, glass, wood, etc. Let's take an example of an electric wire. An electric wire consists of both conductor and insulator. The inner metallic wire is a conductor and the outer plastic is an insulator. This signifies the importance of both conductor and insulator. Well, we have understood that actually electricity is a flow of free valence electrons. This unidirectional flow of electrons in a conductor constitutes electric current. Hope now it would be easier for us to define electricity. In general, electricity is defined as a flow of electric charges or in particular the flow of electrons around a circuit. Electrons were not known at the time when the phenomenon of electricity was first observed. So the direction of electric current was considered to be the direction of the flow of positive charges that is opposite to the direction of the flow of electrons. Electricity can be classified as static electricity and dynamic or current electricity. Static electricity is due to gathering of charges in one particular place, whereas dynamic or current electricity is due to movement of charges from one place to another. Lightning is an example of static electricity. It is caused by the rubbing of air against the rain clouds. Straightening of the hair after combing or removing the hat after wearing for some time is also an example of static electricity. Glowing of the bulb is an example of current electricity. Rotation of fan is another example of current electricity.
Hope you have understood the concept of electricity. In further videos, we are going to explore more about electricity. Stay along. Thank you.